Hey guys, Karis Tiffy here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Support Mission Box Type Geats and Deluxe Weapon Raise Buckle Set from Conrad Geats. This is a special version of the previously released Mission Boxes that includes three special raised buckles that are compatible with the Desire Driver and Power Builder Buckle. So, let's get started. First, we'll take a look at the three included raised buckles starting with the Magnum Shooter 4-0-X raised buckle. So these three are all based on rare weapons from other forms, and in this case we have the Magnum form weapon, the Magnum Shooter. Let's see if you're there. Dab with white and red. And for the action, you will pull it back and you hear a little cocking sound as if you were cocking a gun. Second one is the Zombie Breaker Raise Buckle. We've got some purple and silver. And a very miniaturized version of the Zombie Breaker. And the action here is that it can be rotated either way, like so. And the third one is the Ninja Dueler Raise Buckle, done in silver and green. Where we can have it in the single blade mode, but the action is to pull it back as we are splitting it into Twin Blade mode. Next, we'll look at the Mission Box. So, in the context of the show, these act as loot boxes that reward the players of the Desire Grand Prix, as seen here, with special raised buckles, or with a raised buckle as reward for being a mission. And a special support Mission Box like this is one that can only be used by a certain rider, in this case, Skeets. So, it's pretty simply just these two plastic pieces put together. You see the Desire Grand Prix logo here on the front. And on the top, we have this little design here and Geats' symbol. This opens very simply by sliding off the cover. We have the inside. And there are various things that you can store within one of these mission boxes. So the most basic one is that you can store up to five small raised buckles. So we can take the three that were included with the set, place them in. Now for the ones on the sides, while you can place them in with the arrows facing down, I find it's better to have them with the arrows facing up because it feels like that way more properly locks into place. Go down to the other side. Bring in a couple more raised buckles. Use those to fill slots. So there you have a full set filled in. But these can also fit bigger items, for example. You can fit a desired driver buckle into the box using these grooves here. Just like that, you have it filled in. And just to show that it does fit, the cover will slide right back on. And the last thing that it can hold is one large raised buckle. So, for some examples, put in Magnum. And you want to make sure that the handle is facing this way towards the wall. should pretty securely snap in place. Just gotta make sure it fits in the grooves, like that. Another example would be the boost raise buckle. Though some connections are a little bit looser than others.
But this is kind of the general idea of it. And it can even fit things like the powered builder buckle. And in the show, one of these types of boxes is how Geats actually gets this buckle for itself. So just gotta fiddle with it a little bit. Make it fit in place. Which is possible, it's just, like I said, a little tricky. Just like that. And then you can slide the cover right on. And it's stored. Next, we'll test the weapon raise buckles with the desired driver, and the main way to do so is via the powered builder buckle. So, first we'll prep it by setting the uh, buckle in first. Equip boost. And this gives us Kaminar Geet's Powered Builder Boost form with the Gigant Shooter, aka the Magnum Shooter 40X. Since the weapons are tied to the buckles, using this allows him to use this weapon even when in Powered Builder form. So we'll start with the finisher. which is the Gigant Strike. Then you can switch this one out for the Zombie Breaker Buckle. or the Gigant Dueler, rather the Ninja Dueler buckle. These buckles are also compatible with the Kaminar Secret configuration of the belt.
We also remove the buckle, remove the smaller buckle, and have the single summoning for this one as well. Finally, the weapon raised buckles can be used with the desired driver separate from Powered Builder. So we'll start by using the Magnum Shooter 40X buckle. And as you can see, it basically acts as a miniaturized version of the proper form buckle. Meaning they can also be used for dual on with things like the boost buckle. I saw that the Geet's Karate for buffer. So we can use the Zombie Breaker buckle. Then Zombie Boost. Come on. Do one more core ID swap. This time for Tycoon. And use the Ninja Dueler buckle. and use Ninja Boost form. And there we go. So overall, if there was one mission box I could recommend, it would be this set. Not only do you of course get the mission box which has the various storage capabilities, but you also get these three buckles which not only work as, like I showed, smaller versions of their respective form buckles, but also help unlock the last three sounds of the Powered Builder buckle. So it's especially recommendable if you have that. That's overall just a good set to add to your collection for both storage and play purposes. Next time I'll be looking at the Yamato Buckle and the Kamen Rider Core ID set. So thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like, 
Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRF50, riding off.